There comes a time in everyone's life where they must choose. Choose what, you might ask? Well, choose whether to watch your tech news on a mobile device or on your desktop computer. Either way, choose Netlink Daily. I mean, this is Netlink Daily, so you've already chosen it. Intro, please. Thanks. Yesterday, good old Keys covered the Skylake X leak from VideoCards.com. And now today, Intel officially announced the X series. The new Intel Core X series of processors uses the new X299 platform, which has a wider range and greater complexity than the X99 platform that it replaces. Intel's high-end desktop platform starts on the low end with KB Lake X CPUs, the i5-7640X at $242 and the i7-7740X at $339. On the higher end of the X series comes Skylake X. That starts off at the i7-7800X at $389. And from there, it goes all the way up to Intel's Core i9-7980XE 18-core CPU, which will retail for $1999. All of these X series chips will be socket LGA 2066, have up to 44 PCIe lanes, and have updated Turbo Boost Max Technology 3.0 and, of course, will be Intel Optane ready. Oh, and Intel says that these 8th generation chips are 30% faster than the previous 7th gen chips. Man, I thought quad-core CPUs were good enough so many years ago. Now there's 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18 cores. I just want to know, how many cores is too many cores? The day has finally arrived. Andy Rubin, the creator of Android, unveiled the first smartphone from his company named Essential. The Essential phone, or PH1, is a high-end, no-compromise, top-of-line smartphone. The PH1 has a titanium body with a ceramic back and Gorilla Glass 5 front cover. It's only 7.8 millimeters thin, the screen is 5.71 inches with rounded corners. It has four microphones with noise cancellation, a rear 13 megapixel dual RGB and mono camera, a front megapixel, 8 megapixel camera, both front and back cameras are capable of recording 4K at 30 FPS. The battery capacity is 3,040 milliamp hours and can be charged via USB Type-C fast charging. It sports a Snapdragon 835 CPU, Adreno 540 GPU, 4 gigs of RAM, 128 gigs of storage, fingerprint sensor, and it has two accessory power pins on the back for attachments like a 360 degree camera. It comes in four colors and the MSRP is $699. Wow, that's quite a feature-packed phone. Except you can't really call it the essential phone if you don't have a headphone port, but they do offer the included headphone adapter, which is what I like to call pulling an apple. What do you guys think about the essential phone? Leave a comment down below. NVIDIA made a big announcement at Computex and it's called Max-Q. What is Max-Q? It's a new design that's coming to laptops that are both three times thinner and three times more powerful than their predecessors. Max-Q designs allow new laptops to be just 18.0 millimeters thin and weigh only 5 pounds compared to the gaming laptops of yesteryear being 51 millimeters thick and 10 pounds heavy. Jensen Huang, NVIDIA CEO, showed off the Asus Zephyrus on stage. He says that this particular Max-Q design based laptop is 60% faster than a PS4 Pro console. Max-Q design laptops will also include a whisper mode which intelligently paces a game's frame rate while at the same time configure graphic settings for optimal power efficiency and allow for quieter gaming. All GeForce GTX 10 series laptops built with Max-Q guidelines will include the GTX 1060, 1070, or 1080 level GPUs inside. These laptops are even said to outpace the thinness of a Razer Blade and will be just as powerful as the Blade Pro. The new laptops with Max-Q design begin to roll out June 27th with no mention of pricing just yet. It's time for lightning round! Bam, bam, bam. 
Asus has a new bigger and better gaming monitor called the ROG Swift PG35VQ. It has a curved 35-inch quantum dot display, 3440 by 1440 resolution, HDR G-Sync, and a 200Hz refresh rate. Speaking of Asus, they also announced the world's first Ryzen Power notebook, the ROG Strix G702ZC, or ZC for all you Americans. Dell announced a new gaming tower under their Inspiron line. The Inspiron gaming desktop starts at $599, can be configured with AMD CPUs and GPUs, has options for both Windows 10 or Ubuntu Linux as OS options. Now, to be honest, when I think of Dell Inspiron, I don't really think of gaming grade desktops. That's all I got. Acer announced a Max-Q design laptop, the Predator Triton 700, and a new ultra-wide gaming monitor, the Predator Z35P. EK Waterblocks announced new custom water cooling loop kits at Computex that are priced at a wallet-friendly $150 and up called Fluid Gaming. Fluid Gaming, bro. Sorry. And Google is running a contest for building cool Google Home and Assistant apps. If you win the contest, you get tickets to Google I.O. 2018, a trip to the Google headquarters, oh, and $10,000. But that's just the grand prize. There are also 20 other prizes to be won. Sources for all of today's news stories can be found in the NCX Farm Post linked down below. Mao Mao Mai Mia Ma. Mm, yes, Pat, yes. Mao Mao Mai Mia Ma. Pow Pow Pai Pia Pa. I just made that up. Thank you for your Yo Docs mission. If you would like to see us say some random stuff, hit us up on Twitter with hashtag NCIQ Dog. So you need a new laptop for work, but you don't want to have to get some bulky workstation type thing in order to have the power you need. You could get a MacBook, but then you'd be stuck with that ecosystem and you'd prefer to have a little more performance for your money. Well, my friends, that is where the Windows 10 Pro notebooks come in. Exhibit A, the Asus ZenBook 3. It's incredibly thin and light, so you can get work done wherever you are, and it's blazingly fast with the Intel KB Lake Core i7 processor and PCIe SSD storage. Plus, it runs Windows 10 Pro with the Windows Defender for built-in malware protection. Mm, protection is, is key. BitLocker for built-in storage drive encryption and Windows Hello for intelligent password-free logins. For business owners, Windows 10 Pro has even more tools like mobile device management for your employees and defer updates so you can make sure new features are good to go before you install. For more info and to shop Windows 10 Pro devices, click the I in the corner or hit the link in the description. All right, that's it for Nelly and Daily. Thank you so much for watching. Click over here for previous videos. Check us out on Twitter right over there. But as always, like the video if you liked it. Comment down below for our fans with benefits. And subscribe for more videos like this from NCIX. Now, time to choose lunch, Subway, or Quiznos. My life is so hard. <laughs>